to another episode of uniquely dreamers you already know i am your host fanta and in today's video we got a special guest back we got my cousin umu here you understand me <laughs> i got my cousin back umu if you guys didn't watch she was on my first season if you guys didn't watch that episode you should because it would make a lot of sense a lot has changed so we're gonna talk about a lot of things that have been going on but first and foremost thank you for coming back did i have a choice no but nah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nah of course you know anytime anytime yeah like you know um obviously the platform is a little bit different we can't do in person because of just time being and with the pandemic with studios like i said in the other interviews it's very hard so zoom is the best way to get everybody to do videos, you know, and to do episodes. So um, a lot has been going on, you know. Business has been booming for you. Mm. But before we get to that, in the old episode we did, um, you were talking about getting ready to do Shop Umu. And um, also the jewelry line that you had with your best friend. At how, like, first of all, how did everything start from there? So we're just going to continue on, like, that journey from where we was at in that old episode to now? Like, how did that whole thing begin? Um, well, the jewelry line is no longer. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of had my personal issues. Right. Um, but we were both uninterested, basically. Like, we weren't really motivated. We weren't uninterested. We were uninterested. And, yeah, I just hit, hit her up one day and just told her, like, I'm... I'm going to move on because I have things that I want to um, pursue and I can't do everything at the same time. Right. I can, but I, honestly, we were just uninterested. Right. But um, in terms of, I did tell you that I was working on Shop Umu, right? You did. Yeah. You did. And then like with the pandemic going on, well, actually, no, I'm lying. Hold on. Go back. This is, that's how long ago it was. Um, in January of this year, though, you did launch your shop Umu, which um, with the pop up shop and everything that you did. Mm -hmm. So that happened. So let's talk about business prior before to pandemic, because a lot has changed within the pandemic and everything. Yes. So okay, um, just like any um, business owner, you mm -hmm. get discouraged. Um, I let's just say that. I don't want to say thank God for the pandemic because, you know, there's a lot that, yeah, yeah. you know, but the pandemic really motivated me. Right. And because of the pandemic, my business boomed basically because it was a, it was a time I was very discouraged. Like, wow. Um, everywhere is on lockdown. Um, nobody's working. No one's going to buy anything from me. Right. Um, my vendors aren't able to ship anything to me and i was just like i, I really i just got really depressed mm -hmm. but then i thought i'm like hmm, i'm just gonna have to do it because the thing about me is like i like to be consistent right. and no matter the situation i feel like i still gotta keep giving and giving and mm -hmm. i just did it and i made more sales during the pandemic than i ever did and it was right. just like wow right. like and I think that's a lot of businesses like right now, they made a lot of money during the pandemic mm -hmm. and um, prior. Um, how did you think the response would have been, like would be thus far with the whole shop Umu thing? Because it's like, the, like you said, your platform grew, grew bigger, mm -hmm. you know, it was more sales, people were buying merch. Like how has the response been so far? Um, the response has been really great. Mm -hmm. um, it's really incredible that like most of my supporters are strangers right. and people that I've met off social media. Right. Um, 
I, I, I like I honestly up to this day I'm just like wow like people actually love my my stuff and it's not even about them loving the stuff that I sell it's they just love the fact that I put in a lot of work mm-hmm. and my creativity and my marketing and right. you know like I just keep putting stuff out constantly constantly con- constantly and then people love to see someone who is so consistent so that's why they support like I feel like if I could be selling anything else that some someone else i'm pretty sure i'm selling stuff that other people are selling right. but it's just that i always try to make my marketing techniques unique yeah. and just be consistent and yeah. that's how i get um, i want to commend you a lot because you do you are vocal about um mental health when it comes to business and how mm-hmm. um it takes a lot and knowing you personally you don't like help whatsoever <laughs> you have it a lot but you don't like help and you tend to be in this stress hole and it's, it's bad because as family, we see it and it's like, we can't do much. Cause you know, you can't help people that don't want help. And it's not like you need it cause you can handle everything, but it's just like, I do commend you cause you do talk a lot about mental health, you know, like, you know, we always talk about the glitz and gam- glam on Instagram, but it's just like, no, there's a lot that goes behind it and you mm-hmm. suffer a lot. So talk more about that and like what responses have you got with, you know, sharing your story? Um, everyone always like sees the success mm-hmm. and they're like, oh my God, you are so lucky. Oh my God. Like you have a big support system. Oh my God. I'm like, girl, right. uh-uh, like yeah lucky this is hard work that i put in like yeah i don't see what i have to go through all the tears the sacrifices sweat that i do every night no sleep nothing that i have to um um go through in order to have a successful business and yeah i do i'm very stubborn i don't trust people with my um with things that mean like that's that's really close to me yeah. and things that I care about. Yeah. Um but it came a point where I like I really crashed and I just went into like a whole depressive state and I just like my anxiety started getting bad and I'm just like wow like I need I need to relax. I need to give myself some me time. Mm-hmm. And you know, and I really need to start trusting trusting people with um my mm-hmm. my craft and I'm learning as time goes by but as a business owner, your mental health has to be your first priority because it is not okay, especially from sometime one day you'll have, you'll get zero sales. The next day you'll get like a thousand sales. Then right. it's just like, it's just back and forth. It's just, it just messes with your brain. So I feel like you just got to give yourself me time. Right. And, and being that I don't, I'm, I don't only do shop. Umu. It is right. I have a okay. job and, yeah. and you know, so it's just a lot. Um, what, with also doing that you also have a job like you say and then doing what's relevant tv you're all you also have been um vocal when it comes to supporting and like what is support at this point you know i always say like what is support at this point because you don't have to have a clothing brand to support people in certain way like you have what's relevant tv and how what's the support on that side like then versus having a clothing um brand you know um, the support on that side is just honestly just viewing like watching my interviews and or sharing it or or a like button you right. know um because I do like with what's relevant TV I try to give um, upcoming artists mm-hmm. a platform to showcase their work so like help me um help me by like help me help you by supporting me basically right. you get what i'm saying right. um that's a whole nother another issue in terms of like i've i've interviewed artists who think they're too big for life and they wouldn't even um share their interview and it's just like okay wow you right. know you reached out to me for an interview so i yeah the support is is, is i feel like it ties in it's, it's kind of the same you know even with shop umu you can still share my stuff you don't have to buy something right right you know but yeah um what it now you all you just opened up your um like a look like an office slash mm-hmm. like it's not a boutique it's like more of like a showroom right? showroom yes mm-hmm. yeah. it's a showroom oh. slash warehouse slash office so it's just where now your inventory and everything would be 
and yeah. the audition. How was that process getting that and then like, you know, trying to get ready for the fall collection and everything and just, you know. Um, it it was I'm I'm just very glad that I get to get out of my room because my room is right. getting a bit messy and yeah. um I'm just grateful that I like basically what I always tell people where you start is not where you finish. Mm-hmm. Like I started this boutique out of my bedroom mm-hmm. and being able to have this showroom and warehouse is just really amazing because right. not a lot of people can can do that right but yeah and it kind of it's it's easier for me now like now I'm I took a little break right. um but now I'm getting ready for the fall collection right. and we'll see how that goes how's that like what kind of pieces um should we look forward to for the fall collection what kind of pieces hmm <laughs> um Y'all just gonna have to wait and see because it's a lot. Yeah, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot, but it's gonna be it's gonna be different. Like I'm gonna have some cute jackets, right. um, two matching sets. It's just it's it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a um a collection for all types of people, like sophisticated people, mm, okay, um, bougie people, like um ratchet girls. Yeah. People don't like to wear no clothes, like stuff like that. So it's 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 gonna be a, it's gonna be a mixture of of everything. All of that. Um, what is um some new ventures that um is gonna be coming up soon that people should look forward to with all your platforms and stuff like that before the end of the year, shall I say? Um. Yeah, <laughs> I I can say I can tell you something now, and then tomorrow I'll change my mind. Change your mind, yeah. But um. Some, just look forward to my new collection, new pieces, um, what's relevant TV. Um, right now, I'm just stuck with that because my I've, I was trying to re- venture off into doing like um, like events, like going to events and doing interviews, red carpet interviews stuff. But unfortunately, COVID came. Mm-hmm. So, um, but right now, my, my goal is to really push myself to do more interviews so stay tuned i have a few people that um you guys may like that i'm going to interview and with my job i still work at nbc wow i was Um, like working at nbc especially during this climate with the elections and everything oh my lord like it's just so like i don't know like Men, when I tell you meant my mental health like that that was that plays a big part too being in the news yeah um, it's and it's just like it's it was just a lot especially during the the black lives matter the riots the george floyd situations like it was just too much for me and i was just like yeah. wow this is like i, I can't do this anymore yeah. i can't but i'm managing this is what i wanted to, what i want to do i want to make sure i um give a community information right. to effectively govern itself so yeah. yeah what is some advice you would give someone who you know, follow you and um, see have seen your success, but also the road to get to there and, you know, want to do business and stuff like that. What What's some advice you would give them? Um, some advice that I would give someone who wants to um, be in the lane that I'm in mm-hmm. uh, would be, um, oh, what what is some advice? Mm-hmm. Well, I had it all in my head and it just left. Okay. But, um, consistency Mm. be consistent like if you really want to do something Mm -hmm. and that you love and you want people to support you you have to be consistent Mm -hmm. no breaks like I mean you obviously take a break you know but just be consistent you get what I'm saying um always know that like I said earlier where you start is not where you um is not where you finish Mm -hmm. at all and just do it go for what you go for what you want to do um and don't second guess it if someone says no that means yes mm. like if someone's if someone is telling you uh, i don't think that means yes yeah i think just okay. just go do it that's about it well thank you so much for coming back to the show no problem, no problem. <laughs> she was so busy y'all like it's hard to get this girl 
okay uh, so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you guys go follow her all her description and all her information will be in linked in the description box below and i'll see you guys on the next episode Peace. <laughs>